The sign for this place says it's a center for government integrity education. Jean Zhou says it's actually where people accused of corruption are interrogated, including her husband. He got a lot of um, physical uh, and mental punishment, uh, such as uh, they did not allow him to sleep. Or maybe he only can sleep uh, one or two hours a day. And he was kicked into the room. The room have no windows. Um, cigarette factory. Anhui Cigarette Factory. That's where my husband work. Wilson Wong was once the top person here. Then China's graft busters took him away. They said he accepted huge bribes. But he wasn't arrested. Instead, he was taken into Shuanggui. It's an extra-legal system that uses harsh methods to extract confessions from members of the Communist Party. Wilson Wong was interrogated for 54 days. He was so uh, bad and he do not want to leave anymore. He used a, a tea to bite here, tried to uh, uh, commit suicide. Jean Zhou and the couple's daughter are Canadian. But she was brought in for interrogation too. There's a there's a table in front of me, and he smashed the table like that, and yelling at. And I was like, uh, I never have that treatment in in my life. And I tell him about the law, and he say, We don't care about the law. Here is here is all of law. You shut up with the law, your your fucking law. Wilson was sentenced to six years in prison. His family gives him money to buy cigarettes while they appeal. When we came to this detention center, armed guards chased us away. And at a recent court date, the trial was delayed for no reason. If you uh, postpone, you should let, let us know earlier. The law is uh, seriously, you cannot uh, treat it like a, like a joke. They say the same about the Shuanggui system. It's become one of China's central tools for fighting corruption. The critics say it's abusive and should be abolished. I think this is a torture. And it's, um, it's a punishment and torture and, uh, and, uh, and suffering. Mm -hmm.